Hi, Karen. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. What about you? Pretty good. Um, a little busy today, but eh, very nice. Also, a chance to relax. How about you? What did you do today? Uh, I just got finished my job, my trip today. Okay. And now I, I ready for start my English class. Hey. <laughs> what time do you begin working? Um, around eight a.m. Eight a.m. But I have a power power edge in the in the in the afternoon, so I have to to complete my hours in in the night. Mm, what do you mean, Karen? Well, I have well, I work in Concentrix, but right. I work at home. Okay. I have to work nine hours per day. But if you start at eight, do yeah, you... but I have a power age with the electricity. Uh huh. How how long was? Oh, today. Yes, today. Oh. In the, in the afternoon. Okay. So how does that work when you have a power outage? Do you have to make up the hour or do you lose pay or, or what happens? No, I just have to complete my hours in the day. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yes, it's a it's a advantage to work at home. Okay. So in and is this always the or is only when you have power outage? For example, today you say uh, I'm going to work from 8 to 12 and then take um, a lunch with my friends for three hours and then go back to work from 5 to 9. No, this happens when we have power age or internet issues. We have to complete the hours, but not is, is allowed to do it. Uh, okay. It's just, when we have issues with internet or electricity, um, we can do it, but it's not the how to say this is that that is the way we work at okay home. okay okay i got it uh-huh it's only in emergencies yes that's correct. all right okay well still pretty cool because that way you don't lose money and you can still do other things yes yeah. great. great yeah it really is nice job okay hey what about the rest rafa javier nicole uh evelyn how was your day what happened today Yo, what up? What's up? Tell us, Javier, what's going on? What happened? Um, it was a little busy. I went to work and I woke up at like at 5 a.m. My throat is, is better and I feel really great mm -hmm. because it's a little bit difficult when you are trying to talk with another one and you can, they don't listen to you or or you want to speak a, a little bit loud and you cannot. Okay. Or thanks to thanks to God, I feel I feel better. And what is your schedule, Hyatt? My schedule. Yeah. Um 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, okay. So it's similar to Karen. It's normal. It's normal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so then you got time but to relax. I, but but I have to I have to ride my motorcycle from San Sonata until my uh, my house my house. We are talking about seventeen kilometers. Oh, it's not too bad, right? What's it, like thirty it's minutes? Wow, nah, uh, thirty-five minutes. Thirty-five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not too bad. Not okay. Pretty good. Well. I'm glad to have so many people here today. I, I was getting concerned. I saw the chat and I said, oh, somebody have emergency. Another person can't make it. Another, and I say, hey, well, today's a bad day. It's, it's almost like Friday the 13th. But then I said, nah, we're going to go ahead and see what happens. You see, I see Dennis is having a party in his house. It's, it's boom, 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 boom. Go ahead, Dennis. Hey, continue the party. Bro. Hey, what happened? It's okay. Hey, guys. Continue I'm not sure what, what's going on with my with my webcam. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, it seems that it's okay right now. Okay. Good night, team. 
no problem. I thought it was the light. I thought, hey, somebody was playing with the lights too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would like to be in a party, but it's not the day. Whenever you want, call Javier. He likes to party. party. Oh, really? He's the number one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Good to know. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the end of the at the end of the course. Exactly, exactly. The teacher is gonna pay for it. <laughs> why not? Why not? Let's go to the beach. Let's go. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. Well, today we're going to go ahead. Um, we finished off unit two yesterday. Today is our midterm. That is the the focus is to do the midterm, check the midterm, and make sure that we are clear with no problems and that everything is done. Now, in order to do the midterm, it's necessary that you complete unit one and unit two. So we're going to do midterm, but also remember, you must have complete 80 or more in unit one and unit two today. That is the objective so that we can begin tomorrow easily unit three with no problems and have enough time to complete all of the activities. Okay. All right, so what are we going to do? Um, I explained a little bit yesterday the test. I'm gonna explain it one more time just to be sure so that we are clear. The test has four sections. Uh, section uh, one or section A is simply a listening. There are two parts for the listening, the part yesterday that we did in class and the second part that you're going to do today with your partner. There, in the second part, there are only four questions and yesterday there were five. Listen and then answer the questions. That one's very easy. Um, letter B is a little bit longer. We have to choose, you have to use this word that's in parentheses in the correct form, infinitive or gerunds. Remember, infinitive is with ing, gerund is the base form, okay? Like with two. In part two, you have to, between, you have to choose between the words should, could, must, might, in positive or negative, depending the idea of the sentence, and then put it in correctly. Remember, this is the section for modals. Which one is obligation, suggestions, opinion, okay, or, or possibility. And that's the part that we have, uh, six sentences. So in that one, part one, use the word in parentheses in the correct form, infinitive or javern. And part two, use the modals correctly, okay? Then part three is typing in the correct word. Um, the first part is the words are given to you. They are right here. And then you need just to type in the word to complete the sentence correctly. This is for the first part, one through six. And then the second part, you read. And then which is the best complement to complete the sentence? Simply with your partner, there are only two options. You read and choose which is the best complement. That's it, six sentences. And the final and last part of the test is reading. Okay, you're gonna take a moment, read and use these words to complete it. Uh, from here is the text. So you read Jessica's blog and then with the information from the blog, you choose the best sentence to complete. You choose which one is the right one. Any questions? Um, I do have a question, teacher. Sure, uh, is, there a, is there a limit of time? Well, the, the, yes, there, there, there is no limit in the platform. In the platform, you actually, uh, you can do it. If, if you have it wrong, you can redo it and do it again. Uh, the idea is that we have our class to do it. So we're going to have our time with our partners. We're going to take uh, 30 minutes, 30 minutes with our partners. Then that way it gives us time to make sure that we are able to do everything. And then we're going to start checking the answers to make sure. Um, one, but I'm going to write in the WhatsApp group in 30 minutes. I'm going to write in the group. Hey, are you finished? Do you need more time? And if I see that you need more time, no problem. We give a little bit more time because the idea is not to complete it. The idea is to see how well we are improving our English, because if it's to complete it, boom, I share the answers and you only copy, but that is not the objective. The objective is not to copy the answers. The objective is to have a good analysis of your listening, your reading, your grammar, your module, and see how you can improve or what you are doing that you need to change in order to get better. That is the objective, not the grade. The grade is not a problem. 
The most important is that you are improving with my classes. That's what I care about. Okay? Nice. So, I like it. In 30 Perfect. minutes, I will write in the group. If you need more time, don't be scared. Only answer. Yeah. Yeah, teacher, we need more time. We are not finished. No problem. Then we do more time. That's not a, that's not a problem. Any other questions? No. All right. Let's do it. Marco, you having problems? Marco, Marco, you okay?
Hey, Marco, did you have some problems? Yes, teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, a little problem, a familiar problem. So I, I received a, a call, a phone call when I was beginning the class. Uh, I'm sorry for that, teacher. No Excuse problem, me. no problem. I will put you in the group that way we are finishing, we are doing the test, the unit two midterm test. Okay. Okay? Yeah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Marco, you okay? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Let me try again, let me try again, no problem. Teacher, I don't know what is happening, but I can go into the, the room. Okay, let's try. I'm going to send you right now. Let's try it one more time. Let's see if it works. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Nicole. Hello. Hi. And did you have problems from your room? Um, uh, uh, my phone is almost dying. So I joined from my computer because I just got home. Okay. I'll put you into the, the room with uh, Anna and Dennis then. Thank you. Welcome.
Okay. Good to see everybody is, uh, I guess, finished. Yes, we are ready to check. Yep. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Excellent. That way we can finish off this unit. In part A, um, we started off yesterday and we had Ryan. Do you remember? Number one was? False. False. Okay. Good. Number two was? False. 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 Three? True. 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 Good. Okay. Four? False. False. And the last one was? True. 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 All right. So today with your partner, you did the following. You did part two. In part two? Mm -hmm. After class. After class. Okay. Number two? Doesn't think Kelly got sick. Okay. Good. Number three? Didn't, Didn't know, Kelly. know Kelly missed the exam. Number four? Allows makeup test. All right, nice. Let's take a look at all of those. Exactly. Allows makeup, didn't know, doesn't think. After class, great. And just so that you can see in case from yesterday, in case you missed, it was exactly <coughs> the same answers that we put. Any questions for any of this? No. No. All right, let's go for part B, where we had to choose the correct one. Who would like to do number one? Me, teacher. Maria. <coughs> Sorry. So in that case is Maria avoids getting in other people's problem. Okay. Number two. Me, teacher. David. Go ahead, Rafa. Okay. <coughs> David insists on making a big deal out of his birthday every year. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. I can do it. Okay. I don't care for clubs, but I enjoy going to the late movie on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Number four. Hi. Gina hates to listen uh, to the radio because of the commercials. Okay. Number five. Uh, Kevin has a job, but he still likes volunteering in his free time. Okay. And number six, the last one for part one. I can do it. It's I don't like loud music, but I don't mind seeing a live band occasionally. Okay, great. We're going to check it in just a moment. Now let's take a look at part two using the correct model. Should, could, must, or might in affirmative <laughs> or negative. Okay, who's got number one? Kim was late. Uh, she must uh, have been stuck in traffic. Okay. Good. Number two. Jack didn't Part call two, me sorry. back. Oh, sorry. He might have been busy. Okay. Might. Okay. Number three. I didn't do well on the exam. I shouldn't have gone out the night before. Shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Number four. The loud noise could have been a tree falling. Mm -hmm. Number five. No one, okay. Instead of chatting online, I should have been cleaning my apartment. Okay. And the last one, what do you think? That intersection is dangerous. Drivers must be more careful. Okay. Very good. Mo, as we can see, we have all of those answers correct. Okay. If you get number three incorrect, check the apostrophe. 
it's usually because the apostrophe is different on your computer. And that's the only, sometimes that it, it marks it wrong when it's correct. That's the only one, okay? As you can see, the other ones are excellent. To listen, going, ing. Perfect. <clears throat> Great, let's take a look at like our section C, almost finishing off, using the vocabulary that we have from here, okay? What is number one? Ignore. Okay, ignores. Number two? Identifies. Okay. There we go. Number three? Runs into. Runs into. <clears throat> okay. Great. Number four? By the way, he uh, deals with problems. Deals with. Yep. Deals. Okay. Good. Number five? It causes problems wherever she goes. <laughs> causes, okay. And number six? <laughs> Aggravates. Aggravates. Yes. Okay, great. And let's take a look where we only had to choose the right one. Okay. What was number one? I just saw Sarah. I know for a fact. Not for a fact. Okay. Number two, Joe's plane. Not sure. Not sure. Okay. Number three. Suspect. Okay. And number four. Assume. Assume. Okay. Five. I'm positive. Right. And the last one. Have a hunch. Have a hunch. Which you guys were amazing. Super easy for you. As you can see, all of those words are correct. <clears throat> Very nice vocabulary usage, having the right one. And here we can check that it is correct. Remember, whenever we use he, she, or it, remember to add the S at the end. Aggravates, causes, deals, runs, these types of things, right? Because in here, it doesn't have the S, but it's important, it's important that when you talk about third person with the S. Any questions? No. All right. And the last part, the reading, okay, where we had to do a little bit of reading here and answer the two readings, actually, and answer the questions and the first part, which was using the vocabulary. So what's number one? Wild and crazy. <clears throat> Wild and crazy. What's number two? Friendly and outgoing. <laughs> Okay, good. Number three. Neat and tidy. And the last one. Strong and independent. All right. Let's take a look at the reading. Which one was the correct one for Thanksgiving dinner? Great on um, Susie. On um, Susie's. Okay. Who did the cooking? Everyone. Everyone. Mm -hmm. What happened with uh, the brother-in-law? He made? Apple cranberry pie. Cranberry pie. Jessica? Didn't like the crispy like. dry. What happened with the broccoli? Love. 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 All right. Good. And the <laughs> final part of the reading. What happened with... Uh, was he at the party or no? True. 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 Okay. And what about with Mindy? False. False. And Helen? False. False. Mario? False. Okay. And Helen, the last Helen? 
truth. Okay. Excellent. So you should also have a hundred on your final exam because all of the answers that we have here are the correct ones and you can double check <laughs> just in case. Okay. And then of course the part for the reading was correct. All of the words that we said. Okay. Well, if there are no questions about unit one, two, or the midterm, let's take a look. We're not going to begin today, but we are going to take a look a little bit to help us for tomorrow. What, what are we going to see tomorrow? Use relative and non-relative clauses. Yeah, exactly. So remember, what is the idea of relative and non-relative? It's super easy, an easy way to think about it is information that is necessary, information that is not necessary. That's it. Is extra information or necessary information? Okay. That's all it is. It's an easy way to describe things. Don't worry right now. We're going to take a moment and with our partners, we're going to summarize what you think from unit one and two have been the things that you have learned, which ones you already knew, and which ones are giving you difficulty. We're gonna take a few moments with our partners. Three questions. What did we learn? Okay. Yeah. Of course, what did we know? The second one. Okay. And any questions or doubts that we still have that are still confusing. All right. So quickly with our partners, just talk a few moments and then we come back and answer if there are any questions from any partners. George, okay?
Okay. So before we finish up our day, uh, any questions, unit one, two, or other things that were not clear that we've learned? In my case, mm -hmm. uh, maybe questions, no, but is uh, to, to improve my English, I have to practice more new vocabulary, uh, new models, and practice, practice, practice. I think this is something that I really need. Okay, good. Well, there are different ways to to practice as well. Um, for example, if you have words or you have things that you want to practice, you can always use the internet to improve your pronunciation. And in the chat, you will find a link where when you don't know how to pronounce a word, you put in the word and then YouTube will show you how to pronounce it with using the different videos, okay? So if you, if you find a word that you say, oh, how do I have this? not only will you learn the pronunciation, but you will see it in context. So you can put in any word that you want in that link in the, in the chat, and it will help you to understand and have examples of how to use it in different contexts. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Camomile. Mm -hmm. Camomile, for example. Oh, like exactly. Like chamomile. That you chamomile. Yes, you can put in chamomile and then it will come up for, you know, how to use it correctly. So in that, in the link that I gave you, um, this is, let me write chamomile, type it in and then you will find different videos on how to use it. Thank you. Of course. Anybody else? Any other questions, comments, or anything else? Just a comment. Uh, we were discussing with Nicole that a new uh, uh, word that we uh, learned, it was the negative uh, form of contraction of shall, because I already seen the word shall, but I didn't know the negative contraction. And it was a uh, new. It was new for me, and I think for many of us. And I. It was really interesting because it, I. Even I didn't. Uh, I didn't know how to pronounce it. And I think it was one of the things that I. I found uh, really, really interesting. Okay, great. And that's the idea. The idea is find new words. If you like it, use it. That's all English is. Just like Spanish, some people prefer some words. Some people prefer other words. It's not that it's right or wrong, it's just different words. So when you speak to people, the same word. Some people prefer cerdo, some people prefer tunco, some people prefer, people prefer the different word for the same thing. It's only a matter of personality. That is the idea of vocabulary. Vocabulary is to express your personality and how you are as a person. All right. Well, if there are no questions, thank you so much. We finish one, two, and the midterm exactly on time. Tomorrow <laughs> we'll in unit three. Okay, thank right. you. Thank you so much. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye.